Howdy, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV, and today we're getting started with Xcode. Xcode is like Word, where you can write papers and books, except in Xcode, we write computer programs. There's a lot of tools that allow us to write code more efficiently and make sure that things are working. On this screen, there's a button you want to press called Create a New Xcode Project. This will get you started with either a Mac or an iPhone application. If you don't see that screen, you can always go to the top left of your screen and look for the File New Project, or you can use the shortcut Shift Command N. This will create the new project, and you will see the new screen. Here you want to focus on the left side of the screen. There's an OSX or an iOS application. We want to start with OSX applications because they're simpler. On the right side, you'll want to select Command Line Tool. This is a great starting point when you're just learning how to program C or Objective-C code. On this screen, we get to name what we call our program. You can also set your organization name and your company identifier. The company identifier needs to be unique, and Apple recommends a reverse DNS string. All that means is that you do something like your website, or you pretend you have a website, and you start with com.yourname, and that will make it unique. The next thing we want to choose is the type. We're going to start with a C program. But if you wanted to play around with Objective-C, you could change this to Foundation. And then when we're done here, you hit the Next button. On this slide, you'll want to choose where you save your project. I like to save it on my desktop or in a folder that I call Dev. So click up top and choose where you want it or use the left sidebar. Then you can also uncheck that Create Local Git Repository for Source Control. We won't get into that just yet. And then when we're ready, we hit the Create button to finalize the project. This is the first screen that you'll see when you start a new program. There's a lot of things to look at, and most of it doesn't really matter right off the bat. To close out some of this stuff, click on the buttons on the top. And if you have a small screen, these can help you gain back some screen real estate so that you can see more information. Next, you want to click on main.c, and now we can actually look at some real code. Here's a simple application. At the top, there's comments, which are visible because of the forward slashes. And then where all the magic happens is that int main line. That is the starting place for any computer program that we're going to be writing. The last thing you'll see is a printf command. This is something that's printing something to the screen. It stands for print formatted. And when I say printing, I don't mean printing a piece of paper. I mean displaying text on the screen. So to run your application right off the bat, just hit that big play button in the top left corner like you see on iTunes. And so that's it for getting started with Xcode. In the next video, we'll go over what printf does and how to use it.